I always tell young people to try shit. You know, I, I tell them to not be afraid to fail and to be bold and to experiment and to learn from your failures, but to, to put yourself out there, put your ideas out there. When you do that and you're willing to then learn from them, there's, there's very little that people can't do. Most people require proof of, of things before they're willing to jump in. There's a few people, the bleeding edge folks, that are willing to get on board ideas because that's what they do, but for most people, they need to touch it and feel it. My firm does all sorts of design work. We um, work at all scales, so we do urban planning and community design. Uh, we do architecture and buildings and we do products. Really, it's a big scale of, of work that we do. The next five years for McLennan Design is all about trying to build more examples of this kind of philosophy and hopefully really beautiful, successful examples where people come and they say, if this is what regenerative design looks like, then count me in. <laughs> if this is what a living building feels like, then I want to be in that. Why are we not doing this everywhere? Well, I'm a big believer in this, this idea of biophilia. And biophilia is an idea that we have a natural affinity to nature and that we need to, in fact, our health depends, our mental health, our physical health, depends upon us being uh, around other living things. And that when we spend too much time in urbanity, too much time inside, that we're actually diminished as people, we're, we're unwell. And so that's why it is so therapeutic for people to get out into nature, to go for hikes and to camp. That is because we actually need it. Uh, it's why all these living buildings have been built, is to show people that it's a better way. It isn't just better for the world, it's better for, for me and you. And that's what I'm trying to do with my firm, is to be one of many players worldwide that are showing what you can do with our cities and our buildings and our products to transform our relationship to the natural world.